Hi, everyone. We're excited to share some updates that we've made to the ingredients page to give you a little bit more power to control the details about the ingredients that you're going to be purchasing. So let me do a quick demo here. I'm going to jump into my ingredients page and take a look at, um, at what we have. So if you're a frequent wholesome user, this will look familiar to you. What we've added here is this ingredient info tab on the right. And this is really a place that's going to give us two new features. One is a place to capture more detail about the ingredient, like the URL where you purchase it, the aisle where it's found, the brand that you use, any specific item numbers, some of the specificity that we haven't been able to capture up until now. That's the first piece I'll show you in a second. And the second um, function is converting units. So we often serve units, serve in units that we don't purchase in. So for example, with rice, we often have recipes that we serve by the cup or by the tablespoon. It's a volume um, it, being used in the in the recipe. But when we go to the store, we don't often buy rice by the cup. We buy by the pound. So we're, we've are we got two different kinds of units that we need to convert between. And we now have a tool to deal with that. So let me hop in quickly and take a look at olive oil just as an example quickly here. Um, what we'll notice here. I'm going to clear this out from when I was playing with it before. What we'll notice here is that we have a place to capture some additional detail about the brand, the URL, the item number, and the aisle in case you're shopping in person. So let me just quickly look at our, our local grocery store here in Missoula and pick the olive oil that I'm going to purchase. If you're buying online, this URL can be really helpful. And this will be linked in the PDF and the spreadsheet. I can say that I'm buying Pompeian extra virgin bold olive oil. That's the brand that we're looking for. If we have a number, we can drop it here, there, in case that's how you communicate with your vendor or your grocery store. Um, and then if you have an aisle number, you know, I can say that this is an aisle three. These will show up optionally on the spreadsheet as well as the PDF, and you can sort by them as well in case you want to sort by aisle or something like that in the future. So that's really the first part of this. The second is that we really want to be able to, in some cases, convert between units. So I gave you the rice example. In the case of olive oil, you know, we we serve in our recipes by the cup. This is a quarter cup of olive oil needed in this recipe. And what we don't necessarily want, or it's not ideal, is that in the shopping list, you know, we have um, a, a, a shopping item on the shopping list that says, 35 cups of olive oil or something like that, where it's it's just, it's not impossible to work with, but it's just sort of a little difficult when you're looking at the product and you don't know exactly how many, how many cups of olive oil are, do we need, or how many bottles do we need to purchase in order to meet that amount of cups. And so um, in the past, we just kind of had to pick one and, and stick with it. What we can do now is convert between them. And so if I jump back to, um, to this, you know, I know that I'm serving olive oil by the cup and I did a quick glance at this product to see that it's 24 fluid ounces. I know from a quick Google that I did that that's three cups. And so I'm going to say three cups equals one bottle. There it is. Great. And then I will save that. So what we get in the end then is... If I make a new meal plan, just as a test meal plan, olive oil. I'm just doing this as a as an example, and we'll just say it's for sixty people. Um, if I add that Dutch oven lasagna in here and generate my meal plan, what we should see here is a a column added for each of those new fields. So we've got the Pompeian EV bold. This is linked to the specific product on our vendors page, as you can see here. Um, we have an aisle number here as well. And then we should be able to see the new purchasing units. I'm not seeing it on this page right now. So that will bring me to the next step, which is to jump over to settings. And on export settings, we can make sure that these are visible. So I've got purchasing unit, purchasing quantity, I can save that there. Let me refresh this really quickly. <clears throat> and we should now see that this olive oil, we need two and a half cups of olive oil. This should be exactly as it's always been with Wholesome. What we've added here now is this column that'll give us a sense of how many bottles are needed. 
So in this case, you know, we would need to purchase one bottle to meet the needs of this um, recipe that we just added. So we've got the hyperlink, we've got the brand name, got the aisle number, and we have this new purchasing quantity if it's helpful for you to take a look at that. I went through it quickly, but um, all of this can be customized in your settings. So if you go to export settings, click edit, we can define which columns we want to see on the PDF or on Excel. If these aren't relevant for you, you can keep them off um, or you can turn on specific ones for PDFs or Excel exports. And then you can also choose how to sort. We've added one additional feature here, which is you've got a first sort ingredient and a second sort ingredient. So we can say first sort by aisle and second sort by, um, you know, ingredient name. And then um, the shopping list will adjust to be sorted in that way. So that is um, the main takeaway. So it's a few additional fields added to the ingredient page so that you can manage each ingredient brand, URL, number, and aisle, and then also this conversion unit and a little bit more power in terms of exporting the details and sorting them as you see fit. Hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care.